Shannon. Well, Pat, that's right. It's definitely much nicer than it was overnight and in the early morning hours. But as you can tell, it is still very windy here, but not like those 53 mile per hour gusts in Portland and 58 in Bar Harbor. It was enough to damage boats and knock out power to more than 100,000 Mainers. The overnight storm was quick but mighty, packing a punch with winds that took down power lines and a lot of tree limbs. Crews were out in Westbrook, Wyndham, and other towns to remove power lines and trees that were blocking streets. With this storm, the big issue was the wind with gusts up to 53 miles per hour in Portland. We wanted to talk with Central Maine Power about outages. Catherine Hartnett, a spokesperson for CMP's parent company, Avangrid, says winds were still too dangerous for power crews to go up in bucket trucks. And she says tree limbs, which CMP has been trying to knock back, were still a problem. Hartnett says CMP has a tree trimming cycle regulated by the MPUC that calls for trimming along every circuit every five years. We have done this for more than 10 years and are into our third cycle. She goes on to say that a big problem is that trees that are outside the areas CMP is allowed to cut are still falling on power lines and causing outages. And outages aren't the only problem. We had a couple boats come ashore this morning. We're going to go assess some damage. Falmouth Police Lieutenant Frank Soul says the storm caused at least two boats to come off their moorings at the Falmouth Town Landing and hit other boats, one also striking a nearby pier. You can see there's some damage here on the uh, starboard side. Lieutenant Soule says after a storm, they'll hit the water to assess any damage. Whatever damage they see, they document. It would be watching for our obvious damage, moorings that are hung up, um, not riding the way they should, boats that are not swung in the same direction of other boats. Lieutenant Soule says considering how many boats are still in the water, they could have fared a lot worse. Right now, there's a little more than 50,000 people who are still without power this evening. A lot of progress certainly has been made from the height of this storm, but fortunately, the weather will cooperate in the next few days to let, make sure that crews can continue to clean up and make sure that the rest of those Mainers get back online. We're live in Falmouth. I'm Shannon Moss, New Center, Maine.